What's going on everyone? Today we're gonna to be showing you how to do a proper goblet squat. So without wasting any of your time, let's jump right into it. So starting off, basically we're gonna be going through a full tutorial also how to squat because you need to be able to squat body weight before you grab a kettlebell or a dumbbell. I'm gonna hold this for the sake of the video, but pretty much when it comes down to the squat, one of the best ways to figure out how to properly stand to set up is just kind of jumping up and down. And then that way you're gonna be able to pretty much figure out what the proper positioning is and where your body wants you to actually be. You know, so pretty much you can see here, this is my proper goblet squat position. That's exactly where my body wants to be. It's a very easy way to figure it out. You know, sometimes people are just way too wide, it's uncomfortable. Sometimes people are too close to so just jump up and down, figure that out, and you're good to go, okay? I like starting off the goblet squats with a kettlebell because when you have a kettlebell, you can really grab this kettlebell pull it apart which will activate the back significantly more than anything else, right? Your back has to be activated in order to be able to progress into a barbell back squat, okay? So from a side angle, pretty much just finding my position, keeping that chest up, okay? A lot of times, we'll go over the common mistakes after, so I'll just show you proper form now. Just going all the way down and then up, okay? And I've touched on some of the common mistakes already just a little bit, but I really want to spend more time on this because I find that this is something a lot of people don't do properly in the gym. So you know, common mistake number one is just improper body positioning. So, you know, whether you're using a, a dumbbell or not, um, or a kettlebell, I guess you could say, a lot of times people will grab onto it, they're ready to go. They're just pushing their hips back, they're doing a bit of a hinge, they're leaning forward, they're going all the way down, and then up, okay? This is not a squat, this is a hinge, this is a tremendous movement that you must be doing, but for the squat, it's definitely not necessary, right? As I was showing you before, you gotta keep that chest up, Keep that similar torso angle as well as the shin angle, and then you're good to go, okay? So it doesn't look like this. You're not pushing your hips back. You're not leaning forward. You're keeping that chest up. And then the other thing is, because there's a myth that goes around saying that the knees can't go past the toes for the squats, which is completely false, a lot of times people really jeopardize their depth because they're trying to push their hips back, and they're trying to keep their knees from not going past their toes, and it becomes so uncomfortable that they're not getting the depth and that they're just body positioning so incorrect. So stop doing this, you'll get way better results, go all the way down, you'll be good to go. Common mistake number two, I've already touched on a bit, is just improper depth, okay? You know, I see a lot of times people will grab their, uh, you know, whatever they're using and they're just kind of going, okay, you're really not gonna be doing a whole lot. Yes, I understand you might have to actually be mobilizing your hips a little bit more in order to get down there, but to give you a bit of a tangible of how to kind of get more confident and comfortable with going a bit lower, you can set up a bench, you can set up these risers. So let's say you get nice and set up, you go down here, you establish some new depth, you're like, okay, sweet, that's good. Boom, take one more off. Remember, you're always pulling this kettlebell apart, keeping your back activated. You don't always have to stick with the kettlebell, but for the first little bit, it's definitely essential to understand how to use your back properly. Okay, so just keep going lower and lower, okay? There's gonna be a certain point where you start to kind of curve inwards and your back starts around. That's when you realize that, okay, I should, probably shouldn't be going lower. You definitely have to, don't have to go ass to grass, but it's important to realize that you can go lower, you know, get comfortable, and it does stimulate way more muscles and gives you way more bang for your buck. And last but not least, I feel like this is one of the most important, these are all very important, is just improper feet mechanics and just utilization of the foot, okay? So everything starts with the very bottom, goes all the way up to make sure that you're just doing proper form, you're moving right. So a lot of times people come in here, they're wearing running shoes, Running shoes, in my opinion, are like squatting on a mattress. Would you squat on your mattress? Probably not. So ditch the running shoes, get some flat shoes, um, or just go barefoot, and you're gonna do a way better job, and it's gonna just be way more natural. Past that, filming down on my feet here. You can see, once again, setup's important. A lot of times people are like all the way out here, which just becomes very uncomfortable. You know, it's good for a sumo squat, but for regular goblet squat, not the best, okay? Or their toes are pointing inwards, or when they squat, they're going down, but then their heels are starting to come up. So just making sure that all the pressure is on the middle of the foot, you're grounding it, you're getting tight, you're kind of squeezing everything with that ground from your feet all the way up. This is just something so important that a lot of people overlook, and uh, hopefully this helps you out. You know, make sure to sit, hit that subscribe button if you're new to the channel. Thank you so much for watching. You know, if you're a client of ours, we appreciate you. Uh, keep crushing those goblet squats, and uh, we do have a form guide. First link in the description, if you just want 50 plus exercises like this in a booklet that you can keep in your pocket, we call it a personal trainer in your pocket, click that, we'll get you on our email list and we'll take care of you. See you in the next video, peace.